guys, it's Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. Today, I want to share with you some of the brand new products coming out in the Spellbinders Club Kits for April 2023. We're going to start off with, and you know, I've only got a few of the ones, the clubs that I'm getting right now, but I want to share those with you. First off, we've got the 3D Embossing Folder of the Month. Let me take it out of the packaging so it's more easy to see. And this is, I'm actually, I think I need some paper to go inside it so you guys can see that better. Actually, blue behind it looks good. So we have got all these lovely flowers. You've basically got one, two, three, four, five, six, six different designs on here. And you can use them all together or you could use them separate. Say you want to have just this border on the side of your cards. That would be fabulous. You could emboss all of it together and cut them all apart, or you could just emboss the sides of your card panels. I think that is going to be super, super pretty. So I can't wait to get started using that one. Then we have the clear stamp and die of the month that has again another real pretty floral design we've got some pretty sentiments and then we've got some dies to go along with it the sentiments are you are a wonderful friend thanks for being you hello you happy birthday to you and we also have this nice little frame that'll go around the bigger ones we do have a die for the smaller ones we've got the smaller die and we have a, a die to go around that frame plus one to go around our main image of the flowers but you see we've got two extras i was thinking what is that for so i looked a little closer one of them cuts out this little bunch these two little flowers and the leaves so you can stamp and cut that specific one out and let me look at the stamps itself too just to see how that one works okay so the stamp is all one stamp that's what i was wanting to double check the stamp is all one stamp but you can cut out that one little section You can cut out that one little section there. Then there is a second one that cuts out this one little flower here. So I think that is really interesting. It's, I think it's kind of where you could do some layering of different, um, you used to do some layering with some of it with some foam. So have a little bit of it popped up with some added dimension, have some that's flat, that kind of thing. And that was gonna be super pretty. So that's gonna be fun to play with. Then we have the large die of the month. Let me give all of these beauties out. And this one has, we basically got an outside frame, um, a intricate dotted and stitched. I think you could probably do some stitching on these little corner pieces here. So that's gonna be fun. We've got that intricate die on the outside and we've got a frame where you can cut out the center and we've got a bunch of fun sentiments. Now the sentiments are the same kind as a lot of the smaller ones that I've used quite a bit. You've probably seen those where it's got the thin line and then the bubble cut around it for the shadow. And I think those are lovely. These are larger and I think they would work great with those others. So it's gonna be so, so, so fun. We've got hello. Hello. We've got thank you for you and we have best wishes. So that is going to be, it's basically going to make some really easy die cut cards for that. Okay. And then the final one, because you know how much I love my glimmer and glimmer of the month. This is what we've got for glimmer of the month. We've got some pretty leaves. Now, last month we had a real pretty floral design. This time we have these fun leaves. We've got a die that will cut out a section of the leaves and we've got a couple of sentiments. We've got celebrate the little things and we have had a, have an unbelievable day. But wait, there's more. <laughs> I love to be able to say that. Don't get that very often. We also have a stencil that goes right along with our leaves here so it's just scenario we foil up our leaf panel there then the panel once we're done we go over it with i think i need to turn this around yes there we go so we've got our leaf stencil where we can color those leaves up with a stencil and then We've got a second part of the stencil where we layer them up and add a little detail. And of course I'm trying to line it up. Okay. It'll be easier when we have it on paper because they have these little dot guides. So 
top and bottom shows you where you got it on your card so i would say put a mark there shift this up line up the circles with the second one and you're perfectly positioned for the second bit and then you can cut out however many of the leaves that you need to out of that panel so that is going to be super super fun to play with i am really excited about this one so that is basically what i have at the moment for the club kits of the month again we've got the glimmer of the month we have the large die of the month we have the stamp and die of the month and then the ever present ever lovely 3d embossing folder and you guys know how much i am loving playing with these so you guys have a wonderful day be sure to check out this playlist to see more videos where i am using spellbinders products and be sure to subscribe so you can see when i pull out all of these goodies to play with you don't want to miss a thing you guys have a wonderful day remember if i can make it you can too and i will talk to you soon bye guys